Our next stop was a real eye-opener. Who knew making kitchen cookware could be so fascinating? Check out Brooklyn Copper Cookware. To the uninitiated, copper cookware seems like, well, just copper cookware. But for cooking aficionados, there are two camps. Those who use copper cookware and those who don't. This is not the sort of thing that people take on lightly. And they're, they're extremely earnest in their interest in either getting better in the kitchen or uh, simply upping their game. Copper cookware will last for years and is often passed down from generation to generation. Longevity aside, copper cookware's cooking properties are second to none. What's great about copper cookware today is exactly the same thing that made it great thousands of years ago, and that is its thermal conductivity. You can put heat in one side of and get exactly the same number of BTUs out almost instantaneously. So for fragile sauces or delicate timing, you can finesse the temperature inside the pot very quickly and very accurately. Still, with all of its great properties, it is a bit surprising only one company is still making copper cookware in America. Brooklyn Copper Cookware is the brainchild of Mac Kohler. Pots and pans range from one quart saucepans to 13 quart stock pots. Be it bakeware, saute pans, or casserole pans, all are handmade, one of a kind pieces. Brooklyn Copper Cookware is actually the legacy of another business. Back in the 1980s, co owner Jeff Herkus bought an old machine shop in Brooklyn. Inside were the original tooling parts from the old Waldo Copper Works. Today, a small group of craftsmen work out of a 19th century machine shop located in Bushwick. Seemingly antique machines hum and whirl just as well as their modern counterparts, spinning raw copper into pots of art. Each piece is made one at a time and can take just a few minutes to close to an hour, depending on shape and size. The process starts with a large copper circle punched out of a raw copper sheet. The penny, as it's called, is then mounted on a lathe along with the desired cookware's mold or chuck. The lathe spins at a high speed as the machinist uses a greased steel wand pushing the copper over the chuck. The process is akin to a parent with a fussy child. The machinist carefully but firmly coaxes the copper into a shape it does not naturally want to hold. An experienced copper spinner will use all five senses to feel what's happening with the metal. And when it's mounted on a lathe, the friction and the motion of the spinning lathe and the wand hitting that metal heats the metal up. The trick is to feel and listen to the copper as it's progressing up the chuck. The pitch of the metal hitting the wall of copper changes as the metal is being spun. And it reaches a specific pitch, you've gotten too hard and maybe too thinned out. The cookware is then fitted with a handle which is specifically made for it because no two pieces are exactly the same. Next comes the tinning, a visually fascinating process. All copper cookware has a tin lining to ensure proper heating, protect ingredients from copper, and make washing easier. This process begins with the pot cleaned with acid, then the outside is masked with flux to prevent unwanted tin adhesion. The pot is then heated to around 800 degrees. Raw tin is then rubbed into the center of the pot, much like a stick of butter crackling as it enters the pot, which is swirled around as it's taken off the flame. A wad of cotton batting is then quickly rubbed on the tin, causing it to instantly adhere to the copper, resulting in an ultra smooth and even finish. A quick dip in some cool water causes the metals to form a tight molecular bond. Lastly, the pot is given a five-step polish, after which the pot is ready to be cherished. The process to make these copper beauties is quite a bit of work and cost, but the results are well worth it. There is a kind of ineffable quality to a handwork piece of, of anything that I'd be at pains to describe in detail, but that's precisely what makes it ineffable. 
I can't describe it. It's just something that I can see and I feel about it in the using of it, but in the mere perception of it. Now, Brooklyn Copper Cookware does not have a brick-and-mortar store, but you can view and order all their products via their website.